I come from a long line of people who dream big, live fast, and make mistakes. Right on. Known to go nowhere at a quick pace. Smuggle cocaine lower than the rib cage. Struck a deal up with the doctor. The balloon burst like they could not stop to inflate. Tattoos of coke leaves in the wrist space. And breastplates full of dreams we threw away. Moms worked their ass off, all for my sake. Then took the heart of a dream in one hand, and with the other hand she steered the van of a butcher man, yeah. Drove that stake. Took it from the cradle, straight to the grave. But she still got a notebook full of songs she wrote I was never allowed to read. All she ever wanted to do was sing, but she gave up. Bloodline stays unabashed. <laughs> Unc met Hendrix. Daddy dropped acid. Don't know if he used stickers or tablets, but that night he could see music. Mm. He was in a band once. Still, it led to nothing. One day, his roommate came and took his shit, probably high off something. Scott Summers cock. It was in Phoenix. Shouldn't have stopped. Could have been genius, but music was no anti-drug back then. It was what you did after drugs. Woo! Lucky that his heart didn't stop. Shit. I'm lucky his heart didn't stop. But he was like a stone getting pushed off the top. Started to roll and gave up on the rock. Now since Ma gave up and Paul gave up this music stuff, it really makes me wonder if I'm strong enough to not stop. Because I felt my life get chopped up. Don't want to move. So I take pills. Moving with prime sound like I got something to prove. Very same night, we head into the stoop. My mind reminds me I've got something to lose. Sleep on it. Feel anxiety, lean on it. This disease has the power to bring me to my knees, don't it? In between the second and third verse, I realize I'm just not well enough to do it. Leave home and don't write for three months. I wonder if it's in my genes to give up or to be so depressed at a time when my rhymes make my songs make me look like a free lunch to these rappers. Hey, hey.